Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome back. To those of you who have been here for the whole time, I've got a couple of journals. I've been in the mood to make one of the journals for myself that has this metal file folder as part of the cover. I love these journals. Uh, I've made a few in the past. Uh, I've sold, I think I've sold all of them. Looking back here at the bookshelf, don't see any journals that are this type. And I really wanted another one. So I made a couple and I'm down to the last details. I'm about to paperclip some little uh, mushroom printouts into the one that's for sale. So I'm keeping this one, uh, the strings on the outside or this heavy hemp cord. There are two signatures. So we ended up with four hanging cords out here and that means four beads. This is the one that is for sale. Four pretty beads. That one is wooden. These two are, this one's glass. This one is some sort of glass or it's not plastic. Uh, maybe it's some sort of stone. I'm not sure. Sometimes I pick up um, beads at rare earth beads and they have a lot of really pretty ones. This one is more like a resin bead. All of these are tied on loosely. I feel like you could take these off really easily and change them to something else. Both of these uh, journals are made exactly the same. I'm going to move mine out of the way. So let's show you the outside. The uh, spine is made from two layers of heavy fabric. It's got coffee staining on it and really grungy looking. The outside cover has this beautiful scrapbook paper. And again, the front and the back, that's just glued down onto this heavy, heavy file folder. I like to distress the outside. You can see I've done some of that. I didn't overdo it because I wanted to let you, you know, do whatever you want to. I also did not cover this with any sort of finish. It's just the paper. So I will let you decide if you want to do that. The beads are tied down low enough that you can pretty much just fold them up to the top. Uh, the inside front has got music paper that's glued into place. Then the back inside cover is just this heavy black paper. So you can end up putting something on top of this. You could glue a pocket in. You can do whatever you want to with this. Two signatures, so let's just look at the pages. That's a really pretty printed uh, mushroom, an old book page. Plain white paper, and then we have, uh, I should say cream paper. There's a lot of space to work in here. This paper is a heavy watercolor paper by Canson. Then we have a tea stained page. We have another pretty piece of scrapbook paper that kind of ties in with the flowers out here. Another distressed page. There is a black page. So much fun to use a white gel pen on. Another sort of off white. And then there is a piece of watercolor paper in the center that's been on my art desk. So that has been worked on a lot. So then just turning the pages, you got, of course, the opposite or the other sides of all of these. There is a little bit of stamping on some of these when I distress them. And then, of course, you have the center here. This book has room to grow. So you can make flip out pages, you can add pockets, and you can see how much room there is. This signature has got nine folded pages, so that's 36, uh, you know, counting as a traditional book page is counted. The second signature also has nine pages. Another distressed page, there's more watercolor paper. Here is a piece of paper that's perforated across the top. I think these are fun. Sometimes what I do is just tear that top piece off and use it like if I've worked on the whole page. Also masking tape over this and just, you know, it adds more layers. There is a dictionary page, another sort of plain white. That might be some bond paper in there. That's fun to work with sometimes. Uh, pretty sort of floral or uh, botanical paper and some cream color paper. And then in the very center, this is a piece of fabric that's been gessoed. So it's kind of stiff and it's fun to work on things like this sometimes. Uh, that's the center, center there. And then of course, going back the other way, we've just got the other sides. 
So I feel like this is a fun art journal. This page got a little wrinkled. It's just, it is what it is. Things like that don't bother me too much, but I do give it more thought if I'm mailing something out. So that's that one. And I will be back really soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.